top NFT marketplace platforms. Let's get right into it. In the last decade, blockchain has become a force to be reckoned with. After Bitcoin, the crypto craze of the following years pulled in even more innovators, ushering in the era of decentralized finance. However, after the triumph of crypto kitties in the early 2018, the world expected crypto and distributed ledger technology would reach the plateau, only for the NFT fever to revive after a three-year sabbatical. Over the previous few years, investors have looked toward the security of tangible assets as vehicles to develop their fortune. Thus, artwork, whiskey, and more lately, sneakers have all transformed from collections to investments, sometimes to the tune of millions of dollars. Simultaneously, cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin have begun to achieve widespread popularity among both retail investors and enterprises, accelerating the expansion of blockchain-based technology. Non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, are a unique piece of technology that has taken the investment world by storm as a result of the combination of these qualities. Non-fungible refers to the unique nature of the assets. When you buy an NFT with a cryptocurrency like Ethereum, you're acquiring a digital blockchain-backed proof of validity. NFTs are available on a variety of platforms and exchanges, but which one should you use? These five NFT marketplaces are leading this fast-growing market. The first of the five is OpenSea. Non-fungible tokens or NFTs may appear to be the newest and best thing in the crypto industry, but they've actually been around for quite some time. For that matter, so has OpenSea. The platform is the web's oldest NFT marketplace, meant to be a clearinghouse for all things NFT, from digital collectibles to a Kings of Leon CD. The platform's openness is not only a symbol of pride for OpenSea, it has also spurred the marketplace's growth over time, helping to make OpenSea the biggest marketplace for digital commodities in terms of available items. OpenSea, a decentralized marketplace that uses decentralized cryptocurrency, is one of the first places novices NFT traders should check when they enter the market because of its first mover status in large scale. To get started, all you need to do is register an account on this peer-to-peer -peer network, which claims to be a provider of unique digital objects and collectibles. You may also sort pieces by how much they sold to find new artists. Another major one is CryptoPunks. Since its inception in 2017, non-fungible tokens have changed and modernized, but the original NFT remains as popular as ever. CryptoPunks are 24 by 24 pixelated images of colorful, randomly produced punks, zombies, and gorillas developed by Larva Labs, of which only 10,000 were ever manufactured. These 10,000 CryptoPunk characters were offered for free to anyone with an Ethereum wallet, and they were soon snapped up by buyers, who then formed a bustling secondary market by trading punks back and forth. The money behind CryptoPunks isn't silly. The average sale price of a punk in the last 12 months was more than $20,800, and one CryptoPunk image sold for $2 million in February. Moreover, CryptoPunks is still the NFT environment of choice for many customers, with $142 million in lifetime sales, and it continues to become popular even as new competitors emerge. Third one is Decentraland. The actual world is slowly beginning to mingle with the digital world as virtual reality technology progresses, prompting many to assume that the metaverse is the next stage in consumer technology. Decentraland is a blockchain platform that allows users to buy virtual land that they can then build whatever they want on. Location is everything in real estate, with plots of property closer to heavily traveled areas selling for significantly more than plots out in the middle of nowhere. Virtual avatars travel across Decentraland, stopping in places like Vegas City, the entertainment sector, where users can spend their hard-earned money in virtual casinos run by firms like Atari. So the metaverse is closer than you realize and it could very well resemble Decentraland. Cashmax is a popular one too. Art is one of the most popular NFT vehicles on the internet. And Hashmax is one of the most well-known NFT art initiatives. Hashmax are a collection of 16,384 digital portraits of diverse humanoids with six interchangeable attributes, frequently loaded with secret messages created by some Quick Labs. The system was constructed on a sliding scale of costs, so the earlier you bought one, the cheaper it was. What sets Hashmax apart is its name-changing tokens, or NCTs, enable anyone who purchases a Hashmax to name it, resulting in art pieces for the people by the people. Naming each piece allows buyers to collaborate with the artist 
while also adding a layer of rarity and collectability to the piece. While hash maps may fade in popularity in the future, the algorithms that underlie this popular NFT are ingenious, and they can set the norm for how NFT art is sold. And the final one on our list is Topshot. Topshot, the NBA's most well-known NFT marketplace, was created in July 2019 in collaboration with Dapper Labs as a method for basketball fans to claim ownership of their favorite NBA moments. Buyers can buy random in-game clips in varying quantities and rarities or use the Top Shot platform to buy and sell highlights with other players. The Top Shot marketplace's ingenuity is that it takes advantage of sports fans' long history of collecting memorabilia, from trade cards to jerseys to sneakers, and now blockchain-backed clips of a favorite player or team. Top Shot purchasers have spent more than $200 million, according to the website. The most expensive purchase so far being a clip of LeBron James dunk that went for roughly $200,000 in February. Should you buy NFTs? Is it true that just because you can buy NFTs, you should? Hugh says that it depends. NFTs are dangerous since their future is unknown, and we don't yet have enough data to gauge their performance, she says. Because NFTs are so new, it would be worth spending a little amount to test them out for the time being. Investing in NFTs, in other words, is essentially a personal decision. However, if you have some extra cash, it's something to think about, especially if the artwork has sentimental value for you. However, keep in mind that an NFT's worth is solely determined by what someone else is prepared to pay for it. As a result, rather than fundamental, technical, or economic indicators, which traditionally impact stock prices and, at the very least, constitute the basis for investor demand, demand will drive the price. All of this means that you may be able to resell an NFT for less than you bought for it. If no one wants it, you might not be able to resell it at all. Do your homework, be aware of the risks, including the possibility of losing your entire investment, and act with prudence if you decide to go ahead. How to buy NFTs If you're interested in starting your own NFT collection, you'll need the following items. To begin, you'll need a digital wallet that can hold both NFTs and cryptocurrencies. Then, depending on what currencies your NFT provider takes, you'll probably need to buy some cryptocurrencies such as Ether. On websites like Coinbase, you can buy cryptocurrency with a credit card. After that, you'll be able to transfer it from the exchange to your preferred wallet. When researching your options, keep fees in mind. When you acquire Bitcoin, most exchanges charge at least a portion of your transaction. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button, share this with friends, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the post notifications to not miss any new videos from us. Till then, goodbye!